why not try to get in touch with me? Like, you know. Not to sound callous or anything, but I didn't believe that I was your father. Oh, that's pretty I callous had, if you ask me. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I had a life and a family that I was dealing with. And uh, you had a life and a family you were dealing with. You also had a child who was dying, intensive care for four years. You though. told you told me that he had a hereditary kidney problem. It doesn't mean I, it, that doesn't mean anything. So what? So what if he had six toes and nobody in your family had it? That doesn't mean he's not yours. No. Well, I, I think the last thing that he would want to do is wait 17 years to hear you two bicker uh, <laughs> back and forth, <laughs> right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But I guess in retrospect, if it turned out he was your son, you'd go, whoops, sure. uh, should have been. Yeah. Yeah. And we did the blood test, right? We did the paternity test. Yeah. This is your father. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and I say that in the most congratulatory way. I, I congratulate you that this very fine young man it's your daddy, B. Is, is in fact your son. It's a boy. <laughs> and um, so, <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to hurt. So what now, Dad? I don't know. What now? Um, well, can I make a suggestion? Sure. My suggestion is that we finish what we're doing here and give you two an opportunity to sit down privately and um, chat for a few minutes. And then I think you've made the decisions for 17 years. I think he gets to make the decision for the next 17 years.